I hope y'all can see this video. Hey, y'all, hey. Welcome to Tommy Banks TV and Homestead. <laughs> Welcome to Tommy Banks TV and Homestead. All my new subscribers, thank y'all for joining me. All my returning, welcome back. So right now we're about to do a food haul. I'm going into the Walmart and I'm trying to fill my pantry. So if you don't know, I'm trying to fill my food pantry uh, for three months because we don't know what will take place come this fall and winter with flu season and C-19 season. So what I'm doing for my family is just buying the things that we eat and I'm trying to find bargains as well because we have to remember we need to stay on a budget. You cannot, well you can, maybe you have it like that, but I try to buy a little bit at a time. So today I'm going into the Walmart and I'm going to see what I find and i'll show you i'm not going to record while i'm in there because i really want to pay attention to what i'm doing so i will show you um my haul once i get home Okay, y'all so this is my Walmart yeah this is my Walmart haul so I'm gonna go over some of the things that I have in this haul and I'm gonna try to hold this camera still and this is for me to start trying to do a three month food pantry this is just some of the stuff that I have from the Walmart um, please go and check out the Aldi's haul and check out the Sam's Club haul, the food pantry, and before and then after. So let's get started. I'm so worn out. It takes so much time to place these things on this table. Like I never realized how much time it took. But anyway, the, the purpose of me again doing this is for emergency but it's also a working pantry. So this is this is not me hoarding food. This food will be used and it will be rotated in and out and I will restock as needed. Dry goods up here and then we also have meats over there. So let's get started. So right here we have some pasta. I needed to restock on pasta so I bought three boxes of this two of the two pound boxes of spaghetti and then the angel hair pasta as well um i also got the little small bottle i didn't get the big one of the spaghetti sauce and then going back here we have i got these right here i like to um my kids like to make burritos well my son really i like to chop them up and fry them and make my own tortilla chips and then we have the different uh salsas right here we have taco shells and i even got the kit with everything in it also we have uh, some peaches 12 pack and then cooking oil right there and instead of all of the um matter of fact let me show you uh the huge bag of rice that i have i could not fit it up here so this is the 20 pound bag of uh, rice that I will be putting in a food container with the gamma lid and that that rice that will go in the gamma lid that'll be the rice that we will have for our storage our long-term storage. okay so because you don't always want plain rice we love 
the dirty rice, zatarans, and we also, and you could just add meat to it if you want, or you could just eat it without. It tastes really good. Um, we also got the jambalaya. They didn't have the big boxes. That's why I have four of the smaller ones. And with this, oh man, I just noticed this is the one with cheese. My family don't really like the one with cheese, but guess what? That's all they had. So that's why when you go out and you see something that you know your family eat, go ahead and get it then if you can, because they will run out. Like they literally, there were spots on these um, shelves that were empty. Um, so y'all, as much as they're trying to stop, people are stocking up for the fall and for the winter. And so keep that in mind when you're, you know, thinking about what you want to get for your food pantry, what your family needs. So I'll be looking out for the regular one as well, but I mean, they will eat it. I got these bay leaves right here. I'm going to use those inside of my food containers that I'm going to get with the gamma lids and that'll help um, keep everything nice and fresh. So of course I have some of these cheese balls right there. You know, you got to get a little snack in there too. And plus, um, whenever my grandkids come over, they like those. Um, also, if you're gonna get chocolate, get some dark chocolate. So I got two boxes of brownies, Alfredo sauce, ranch dressing, um, some apple cider vinegar, the mother brand. And I got my um, tiger sauce. If you have not tried that, y'all, please try that tiger sauce. And I also have the red hot chili sauce i have two bottles of that i have three of the tiger sauce and then i have a marinade with the lemon pepper back here i got some chips because the kids are out of school and it's too hot still to be cooking here in south carolina um at least indoors and then of course my husband has to have his texas pee he will get like i need the texas pee you know whenever he comes home from driving trucks at the front, I feel like I need to put some more light over here. At the front, we have our soups and our broths. So over here, I've never tried this, um, the Campbell's Chunky Baked Potato with Steak and Cheese. I got two of those, and then I got two of the Roasted Chicken Country Vegetables. And I also got five of these Beef Raviolis because my daughter loves those. Then here's the chicken broth. It's not name brand. I already had some broth in the pantry, but I wanted to add to it because, you know, holiday season coming up and all this other stuff going on, emergency, food, people shopping. You want to have what you need and not have to go out if you don't have to. So I have three of those to add to my food pantry. I also have some sweet peas. We don't eat a lot of sweet peas. Um, but I did buy two cans. I like them if I put a little bit of pearl onions in them, then I really love them. And so right here, we have some yams, two cans of those. We don't eat a lot of yams, but when we do, you know, it's good. And I don't know how that one's going to taste because I just noticed it says with Splenda. We have some pork and beans, two cans. I already had some in the pantry, so I'm just adding to it. When you go out, just add to what you have. That's a tip. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. That way you're not, it doesn't feel like you're spending, you know, the whole bank when you're doing it. Bush baked beans. And then we have some, I never tried this brand, but it's chili with beans. And then I have some of the chili uh, Hormel with no beans already in there, but I got two of the ones with beans. And then only one of that because I already had one in there. We don't eat a lot of chilies. A little treat for me and my son. <laughs> the turkey leg, y'all. This came from Walmart, y'all. They have them in, this is how they have them packaged now. And this one was like five, but they both were like five dollars and some change. Did I say I had mayo? To try this right here, I never tried it before. My husband is a diabetic, but the way he eat, you wouldn't think it. So um, we gotta get him better with that. Over here, we have cereal, some healthy, some not healthy. Some grits. We also have two different kinds of syrup. I wanted to try the sugar-free syrup, low calorie, because I am 
on a diet. No way I eat sometimes, you can't tell it. <laughs> and then I got some honey. They didn't have the honey that I wanted. I usually get the honey, it's like this, but it's actually a sugar-free honey that's out there. And they sell off the shelf all the time at Walmart. Y'all, honey is a natural sugar. And that being said, it has like 17 sugars in it and 17 carbs, but the other one doesn't. So I'll just keep looking out for that whenever I go to the store. Let's do the meats. No, let's continue with this. We have, like I said, the cereal, Rice Krispies, Special K, um, the fruit and yogurt one I love. And so this right here, we can eat it as cereal or we can make us some Rice Krispie treats. Um, we have the oatmeal with all the different flavors and then the one down there is just the apple. And then some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then over here, keeping with breakfast. We bought the Krusty's light and fluffy buttermilk, complete pancake mix, just add water. And that's what you want. You wanna just be able to add water um, if you don't have eggs and you don't have milk. But on the back, it tell you, you can add protein to it and it'll tell you how much down here that you can add, you know, when you add the milk and the egg to it, that's your protein. So I also, um, I love coffee, but I don't have a coffee maker because I'm the only one that really drinks coffee. So I buy these singles right here. And I think this was like $8.98 or something like that. It has 38 coffee bags. It's just like a tea bag. And so I use those in my um, coffee. We have some Sazon. I know a lot of people cook with that. So I said, well, let me get that, let me try it. Um, we got Pedialyte, those are for my son because he plays football and it keeps him from cramping and all that good stuff and hydrated. And then we have the body armor, I think he's addicted to. So I just got five of those for him. And then over here we have some chicken flavored rice because again, you don't want to be eating plain rice all the time. That's why I got the other rices, the dirty rice and the um, jambalaya rice. And then right here I have Morena sugar. I didn't buy any regular white sugar. This is like a pure cane sugar. I use this. I started using this when I started canning because that's what they said is better than the white sugar. So... And it actually tastes good in the jelly that I made. So I will be using that when I make my strawberry jelly. Okay, so I decided to get this number 10 can because I used to buy cans like this when um, I had a childcare center and it saved money. Like I could use one can and could feed like uh, 40, 50 kids. So, and that's, you know, portion right. This is a six pound. I had the actual um, small cans as well of corn, so I don't have to bust this open. So this will be long-term storage also. The last thing for the Walmart is the Strawberry Kiwi Electrolyte. These are the little pouches that you put in the uh, water. And so I got two different flavors. Well, no, I got the same flavor. I thought I had two different flavors, but I got the same flavor. But it looks white when you put it in there and it tastes good. And you don't want all that sugar. That's what you want. So this is gonna end my haul. I wanna thank y'all for sticking in there for me to go through all of this stuff with you. Again, if this is something that you enjoyed watching, please thumbs up the video. If you didn't enjoy it, thumbs it down. Everyone, if you can leave me a comment, make sure you subscribe to Tommy Bites TV, turn on your post notifications. And if you feel like it, please share me out. I think that was it. I think that was it. So um, grow your pantry grow your garden if your garden didn't put out like mine didn't put out very much then stock your pantry and be ready for whatever whether it's a hurricane tornado uh c19 any kind of emergency um stock your pantry make sure your family have what they need in case in case they decide to close things down again you never know 
selling. Again, this is not hoarding food. Make sure you buy what you eat. And that's it. Y'all have a good day. And I will see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Peace, love, and light. Thank y'all so much for joining Tommy Bites TV and Homestead. <laughs>